On the morning of July 1st, 1863, as the other regiments of Lysander Cutler's brigade raced their way toward Gettysburg, the 7th Indiana Regiment was left behind at Emmitsburg with orders to guard wagons. However, believing their place was at the front, Colonel Ira Grover decided to violate his orders and instead left the wagons unguarded and made his way to Gettysburg. The regiment arrived at some point during the afternoon and the arrival of these 400 fresh men will give a much needed boost to the Union defenses that were forming south of town. Assigned to Culp's Hill, the 7th Indiana will arrive here and would that night be the right flank of the Union Army. After settling into position, Colonel Ira Grover decided to send skirmishers down the slope of Culp's Hill. And that night, they actually encountered a party of Confederate skirmishers who were making their way to the front, determining whether or not Culp's Hill was occupied. When it was discovered that Union troops were holding the hillside, Confederate General Edward Johnson decided against seizing Culp's Hill that night, and the arrival of the 7th Indiana would go far in helping to secure this critical ground for the Union. Colonel Grover's actions on July 1st worked out for the Union. But should a leader be praised or condemned for violating instructions? How would you feel if things did not quite work out as well as they did? And where else during the Battle of Gettysburg can we see examples of officers violating the instructions of their superiors?